Hi guys, I hope you're all very well. I had originally made the uh, decision to not do any corona related content because I just thought the minimum that YouTube can do is provide a bit of a distraction. Um, but this is a really, really nice article that is talking about all the good that people are trying to do uh, to help a certain group. And it's such good French. It's such good French. So it was a letter that was published from someone representing the social services sector. Um, and sometimes when there's written French, um, it's in the form of journalism or literature or, um, or sort of public announcements. And that just gets a little bit um, heavy, I suppose. And it doesn't always possibly relate to things that you can say yourself, particularly as a, a, an intermediate or beginner learner. But this has just got an absolute wealth of great vocabulary. Um, I'm sorry I've done a couple of advanced videos um, in a row, but I always just get emails. I get so many emails asking for different things. And um, I do just feel that recently um, I've just kind of neglected some of my advanced guys. But that's not to say if you're a beginner, you can't watch this video. Um, there's perfectly good vocabulary in it for everybody. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it uh, paragraph by paragraph, and then we're going to talk about the vocabulary. Now, if you want to read it at the same time yourself as when I'm doing this, the link will be attached underneath. All right, so the link will be attached underneath. So I'm sorry if my head goes to the side, but I obviously need to read it. My eyes aren't that great at the moment because I'm on this stupid medication, which is just destroying everything. So, um, uh, but the world is in a really bad state because I just heard my neighbour listening to Cheryl Cole. Anybody that doesn't know who Cheryl Cole is, please don't Google it. I really wouldn't wish that upon you. Um, uh, if you know who Cheryl Cole is and you understand why this is such an awful uh, uh, turn of events, uh, then please comment underneath. So, this was written on the 20th of March uh, of this year. So, I'll read it slowly and then I'll read it quickly per, per, per section. Um, Nous, travailleurs sociaux, sommes également du personnel soign euh, soignant, soignant d'une société qui produit des exclus et de monde qui ne tombe plus vraiment rond. Slightly faster. Nous, travailleurs sociaux, sommes également du personnel soignant, soignant d'une société qui produit des exclus et de monde qui ne tombe plus vraiment rond. So, we, social workers, yeah, workers social. Notice that the adjective social, like any A-L, A-L, male, um, plural, uh, be it a noun or a, um, an adjective, will go to O. So, are uh, equally care uh, personnel, yeah, du personnel soignant, okay? Um, the point being that they're sort of saying, you know, we're not saying doctors and nurses don't have a role, but we are obviously helping as well. Carers d'une société, of a society which is producing the excluded. So exclure is a great verb in French, exclure, to exclude. And of a world, so carers of the excluded and of a world, we're repeating the preposition, which isn't really turning round anymore. In other words, everything's come to a stop, okay? Next paragraph. Nous sommes, so words that from that that you could use would be uh, exclu is obviously really, really useful. Uh, it's, it's something that's excluded. Ne un plus as, a, um, as a, an adverb is really great. I smoke, je fume, I don't smoke, je ne fume pas, I don't smoke anymore, je ne fume plus. So, nous sommes soignants des injustices et des disparités en soins palliatifs des systèmes qui dysfonctionnent. Nous sommes soignants des fragiles et de ceux qui ont besoin de protection. Nous soignons des enfants, des personnes handicapées, des grands exclus ou des personnes exilées. Comme autant de mots d'une société qui écrit sur le fronton de ses mairies, l'égalité et la fraternité, nous soignons pour que chacun puisse y envisager sa place. Slightly faster. Well, a lot faster, let's be honest. Euh, nous sommes soignants des injustices et des disparités. En soins palliatifs, des systèmes qui dysfonctionnent. Nous sommes soignants des fragiles et de ceux qui ont besoin de protection. Nous soignons des enfants, des personnes handicapées, des grands exclus ou des personnes exilées. Comme autant de mots d'une société qui écrit sur le front de ses mairies, l'égalité et la fraternité, nous soignons pour que chacun puisse y envisager sa place. So, we are carers or caregivers, caregivers for injustices and disparities. So parity is when things are the same, uh, so disparity is kind of like inequality, okay? Palliative care, um, which is sort of end-of-life support care, 
um, for systems, but this is a bit figurative as well, as well as literal, for systems which are dysfunctioning, the dysfunctional systems. Spot the Y in the spelling and not the I. We are carers for the fragile and for those, yeah, those, so, who need protection. We care for children, for handicapped people. We do still say handicapped in French. I know it's not the, the correct terminology in English to use that, that word, uh, because it comes from cap in hand, begging kind of thing. Um, but um, yeah, but in French we do still use that for the moment. For, for, for the great excluded. Now that doesn't mean they're big, it means great as in grand can also mean great, as in like the great and washed, the large amount of people. Churchill was a great man. Churchill let it nom un grand homme versus an homme grand. It, it takes on the quality of a big man versus a, a great man. So grand can also be great. So in other words, the large amount of the excluded. Ou des personnes exilées, or exiled people, people who've been exiled. Like so many ills in our society. Now, people are really freaked out by this word mot, but if we've just spoken about social becoming socio, hôpital becoming hôpital, um, then mal becomes mot. So the, the bads, the ills, if you will, rather than the bads, but you take my point. Uh, um, now, that might bother you because some people think, well, mal is an adverb, like he speaks badly, il parle mal. It's also um, a noun, yeah, okay? Le bien, le mal, the good and the evil. So society's ills, of a society which writes on the front part of its town hall. So the mairie is the town hall. Sometimes we will use the word hôtel de ville to mean the town hall. Like if you think of Back to the Future, beautiful film. If you think of Back to the Future, um, when Doc and Marty have to get the lightning bolt to strike the town hall, that kind of building town hall, that would be the l'hôtel de ville. The mairie is the administrative, if you think of the word maire for maire, it's the administrative centre. Now, often in smaller locations, it will be the same place. But sometimes, like, Mairie de Paris has got shit going on everywhere. Um, yeah. Uh, L'égalité et la fraternité. So it's basically saying, like all these problems, but for a society which allegedly has, you know, fraternity, uh, you know, and, um, so, you know, fraternity and, and equality written on the front of their town halls. Because as you know, in France, we have, you know, égalité, fraternité. You know, they're, they're part of our liberté, égalité, fraternité. They're part of the sort of the French code. Um, it doesn't oddly enough mention pâtisserie. So, uh, nous soignons pour chacun, pour que chacun puisse y envisager sa place. So, we are caring so that everybody can see, envisage their place there. So, grammar that's going on there is basically pour que is so when you then follow with the person. So, for example, if it was, so, for example, if you said, I'm going to France to see my family, je vais en France pour voir ma famille, just pour plus the infinitive. I'm going in France so that my family can see me, so that, and then another person. Alors, je vais en France pour que ma famille puisse me voir. So, pour que plus somebody plus your subjunctive. Um, so, so that everybody can there envisage their place. Nous n'avons, next up, a paragraph. Nous n'avons ni gyrophares, ni blouses blanches. Nos services de réanimation s'appellent CHRS, uh, 115, UDA ou foyer de l'enfance. Ils sont ouverts 365 jours par an, 24 heures sur 24. More on that in a moment. Et accueillent celles et ceux pour qui, pour qui il est soudainement devenu vital de trouver un abri. Nous n'avons ni gyrophares ni blouses blanches. Nos services de réanimation s'appellent CHRS euh, 115 UDA au foyers de l'enfance. Ils sont ouverts 365 jours par an, 24 heures sur 24, et accueillent celles et ceux pour qui il est de soudainement devenu vital de trouver un abri. So we don't, we have neither no, a gyrophare, gyro meaning turn round, phare meaning like a light, is a the flashing blue light on top of emergency vehicles. Ni blouse blanche, nor a white sort of blouse, tunic. In other words, like medical stuff. So, n and ni is a very good, uh, we had n and plu earlier, n and ni is a very good um, adverb for neither. So, I like chocolate, I don't, I don't like chocolate or coffee. Je n'aime ni, je n'aime ni le chocolat, ni le café, which is utter rubbish, I love both. Um, so, we, you know, we have neither flashing blue light or a white tunic. Our, now, réanimation in French is what you call resuscitation. 
Yeah, so which is obviously a very important word at the moment because of, you know, uh, casualties, ERs, whatever you call it in your country. Um, so intensive cares. So the point is our resuscitation is called the CHRS, the 151. So it's basically saying figuratively we're resuscitating society and that's just as important, whatever, whether, whatever you think about that. So uh, lovely. So CHRS, you're basically... Um, is I what's the say HRS stand for? I forget some of these. Um, uh, initialisms, uh, CHRS en France, um, yeah, Centre d'hébergement et de réinsertion sociale, so center for, for sort of héberger is to kind of shelter to house et de réinsertion sociale, so center for housing and logement is like accommodation, hébergement is kind of housing. So Centre for Housing and re Social Reinsertion. Uh, what else have we got? Um, uh, yeah, so there's no more initialisms. Uh, good, one five, UDA, oh no, UDA, UDA's another one. I forget what UDA stands for. I'm the person who up until a couple of days ago thought it was International Movie Database rather than Internet Movie Database. So UDA, uh, France, un instant. Oh no, there's a brand called Uda, so it's being really annoying to find it. Um, ah, some biatch called Huda has basically dominated the thing. So Huda is another uh, another kind of like social organisation which looks after people. So. Uh, so we don't have a flashing blue light or a white tunic, but our um, resuscitation is called the social services. Foyer de l'enfance. Foyer is like a centre as well. It's like, you know, the foyer, like the entrance hall, like a centre. A foyer would be like a centre for children, you know. Um, yeah. Um, they are open 365 days per year. Notice we use par. 24 hours on 24. That's how you say 24 hours a day in French. So if you think of a fraction, so three quarters is three on four. Some people like to do the little diagonal thing. Some people like to do this. Get your kicks while you can. So where you can. So basically, uh, so if you said eight out of 10 people, you'd say eight on 10 in French. Huit sur dix personnes. Yeah, huit sur dix personnes. Okay. Uh, so uh, 24 hours a day is 24 hours on 24. In other words, 24 hours out of 24. So 24 sur 24. Yeah. Et accueil, welcome, great verb, accueillir. Celles et ceux, those and those. That's just being a little bit artistic because you could just say ce and it would deal with everybody, male and female. But celles et ceux, pour qui, for whom, il est soudainement devenu vital de trouver un abri. For whom it has suddenly become vital to find an abri is a shelter. Abri is shelter. Abrite is the verb. You can use that figuratively as well. So if you sort of said, well, nobody's safe from, you know, this kind of thing, personne est à l'abri, personne est à l'abri de, to be sheltered from, figuratively, to be safe from, all right? I just had a letter, a comment from somebody called Tom. Great content, it was really entertaining. Thank you, Tom. Uh, lovely. La misère et la détresse ne se confinent pas. Les angoisses et les craintes non plus. Pour respecter les, les consignes sanitaires, les portes des établissements se ferment, mais elles laissent béantes les blessures et les peurs. Elles imposent un huis clos précaire où cohabitent des personnes qui ne sont pas choisies et restreignent les soupapes qui constituent les contacts extérieurs. Des soignants, nous devenons alors pompiers. Let's read it. La misère et la détresse ne se confinent pas, les angoisses et les craintes non plus. Pour respecter les consignes sanitaires, les portes des établissements se ferment et laissent béantes les blessures et les peurs. Elles imposent un huis clos précaire où cohabitent des personnes qui ne sont pas choisies, qui restreignent les soupapes, qui constituent les contacts extérieurs. Des, sorry, de soignants, nous, de, euh, nous devenons alors pompiers. So, misery and distress don't confine themselves. So this is the sort of play on what we've got to do at the moment. So it's sort of saying we were all staying in, but misery and, and uh, distress don't. They get That gets out into the world. And these guys are going to help. So the anguish, plural, yeah, and the fears. So an angoisse can be, you know, um, so if your little kid was all worked up, you go, oh, mais t'es tout angoissé. Angoissé is like anguished, stressed, very, very stressed. Um, angoisse, anguish, et les craintes, fears. So you might go, Luke, I thought it was peur. It is. Crant is just another word for fear. 
Craindre is another verb to fear. Okay, je crains. Uh, the more advanced amongst you might like to look at craindre with regard to the expletive ne. Those of you that don't understand that, don't worry about it. Pour respecter les consignes, uh, so, so anguish and fears, neither. Non plus, neither. Yeah, if you think aussi is also, neither is non plus. As in the famous song, the name for that song is I love you, me neither. So if somebody said, oh, do you know what? I just cannot stand Cheryl Cole. Me neither, moi non plus. Pour respecter les consignes sanitaires. Uh, to respect the uh, the health advice. Les portes des établissements se ferment, so the doors of these establishments are closing, but, um, so close themselves, because the doors themselves um, aren't closing anything, so that's why it's reflexive. But they leave open a less béant. Béant is like a kind of formal word for open in sort of um, certain situations. So for example, I was absolutely shocked and flabbergasted. J'étais époustouflé, j'étais bouche bay, which is short for bouche béante, like mouth wide open, béante. Um, uh, les blessures et les peurs. So basically, the doors are closing, but they're leaving open um, injury and fear. Yeah, blessure is injury, like blessé is injured. Elles imposent un huis clos précaire. So they're imposing a behind closed doors. Riclo is um, uh, means behind closed doors. It was actually the name of a play by uh, Sartre, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which I think is called No Exit or No Way Out in English. There's a translation. Uh, precaire, precarious, great word. So this is how this works. It's kind of like you might not use all of these words in this context, but you might use some of them individually. Like, oh, it's a bit precarious. Is that going to hold if you stuck something to the wall? Precaire. Ou cohabite. Yeah, cohabit. Des personnes qui ne sont pas choisies. The people who are not chosen. Et restreigne, and who basically restrict les soupapes, the vowels, lovely, uh, that make up external contact. So basically, that's another figurative thing. It's sort of like allowing how much external contact we get through. So therefore, uh, soignant, um, uh, uh, one second. I don't think I've got the second page of this. I've got it as a, a WhatsApp. Um, uh, have I got it? Oh, okay, I found a full JPEG. So I'm using, a, I'm using a printout of my WhatsApp because a friend of mine posted it on Facebook and I've just realised it suddenly stops. But I had Googled it. Yeah, where were we? Um, yeah, um, so, you know, although carers, we've kind of become firemen, you know, to sort of undo all these kind of problems physically. So it's quite a, a clever figurative letter. Il y a peu de professions euh, qui puissent se targuer d'un tel engagement de ces acteurs. Le dévouement des soignés, soignants dans les hôpitaux, il doit être applaudi. Ne doit pas éclipser celui des travailleurs sociaux qui chaque jour prennent leur service sans disposer de masques ou de gel hydroalcoolique. Qui chaque jour mettent leurs angoisses personnelles en sourdine pour pouvoir recevoir et accompagner celles des autres qui chaque jour s'exposent dans la promiscuité des institutions sans pont aérien ni institution de campagne, qui, au nom de la continuité des missions qui leur sont confiées, ne regardent ni leurs heures ni leurs congés et font preuve d'une solidarité exemplaire au sein des, des équipes. OK So, basically, il y a peu de professions qui puissent se targuer d'un tel engagement de ces acteurs. Le dévouement de ces soignants, de, des soignants dans les hôpitaux, il doit être applaudi. Il ne doit pas éclipser celui des travailleurs sociaux qui, chaque jour, prennent leur service sans disposer de masques ou de gel hydroalcoolique, qui, chaque jour, mettent leurs angoisses personnelles en sourdine pour pouvoir recevoir et accompagner celles des autres, qui, chaque jour, s'exposent dans la promiscuité des institutions sans pont aérien, ni institution ni campagne, qui, au nom de la continuité des missions qui leur sont confiées, ne regardent ni leurs heures ni leurs congés et font preuve d'une solidarité exemplaire au sein des, des équipes. Um, um, I basically want you, when you get into reading um, um, sort of stuff of this material, to basically try and make it a little bit more human. So try not to do the robot thing. So you might not be as emotional. You might just be like, il y a très peu de... But try and make it sound human. Try and use your own voice. Good. So there are very few professions. Notice, p is a, is a word we don't often use. Um, foreign uh, learners don't often use that. Yeah, but p de, few, you know, we use beaucoup de all the time, but p de, yeah. 
um, qui puisse se targuer. Targ is kind of brag about, okay? Un tel engagement, such an engagement, so tell is such. I've never seen such a woman. Je n'ai jamais rencontré une telle femme. Um, from its actors. Now, actors here doesn't mean sort of to be or not to be theatre actors. It means, or screen actors, it basically means those involved in the actions that they're doing. Yeah, so you will come across acts in French quite commonly, like activité could be like what you're doing at work. Acteur means those involved in that sector. Le dévouement, this is a great word, the devotion. Now, if you said um, the dedication in English, you've got to be careful. If you mean I dedicated my videos to everybody that's learning French, you know, it's in your name, then that would be dédiqué. Same word, dédiqué, dédication. If you said Luke is so dedicated, yeah. What you mean is Luke is so devoted, Luke, uh, Luke is uh, tellement dévoué. So if you said she's so dedicated, she watches Luke's videos every day, you'd say, you wouldn't say le dédiqué. Yeah, that's the word to dedicate something to somebody else. Um, um, S'il doit être le dévouement des soignants dans les hôpitaux. Uh, S'il doit être applaudi. So yeah, so basically the, the devotion of care, carers in hospitals. Uh, if it has to be applauded, yeah, doesn't have to eclipse that of uh, the social workers who every day take uh, up their work, their service, without disposer to, to have in a formal way. So, for example, London has five airports. Londres dispose de cinq aéroports. Um, so, disposer to, to possess in a formal, useful way. Um, so, in other words, uh, yeah, so uh, the, the devotion of caregivers in hospital, if yes, it has to be applauded, shouldn't eclipse that of the um, social workers who every day are taking up their service without the availability of masks or alcohol gel, you know, hand gel, hydroalcoholic gel, okay? Qui chaque jour who every day put their personal anguishes en sourdine, sourd, feminine sourd, means deaf. So en sourdine means just quieten it down. They just suppress it. They don't deal with it. Yeah. To be able to, pour pouvoir recevoir, to be able to receive and accompany that of the others. So sell because it's angoisse and, um, uh, yeah, which is feminine. Uh, so it's basically they get rid of their own, they, they ignore their own shoes to deal with somebody else's. So qui chaque jour s'expose dans la promiscuité. So every day expose themselves. Yeah. Uh, basically, in the promiscuity, basically, I mean, you know, the, if you're promiscuous, you're kind of everywhere, aren't you? You know, the risky everywhere nature of these institutions without an airlift, a pont aérien, uh, you know, or a, or a campaign um, of you know, a, a protocol from the institution. So in other words, it's kind of like they're a little bit more individual and they're going about doing all this stuff. Uh, who, in the name of continuity of these projects that have been trusted to them, qui leur, to them, are trusted, qui leur sont confiés, uh, confiés to trust, méfiés to mistrust, uh, ne regardent ni leurs they look at neither their hours nor their days off. Congé is a great word for leave, days off. So if you've got, yay, I've got three days holiday, you don't mean holiday, you mean days off. A holiday would be like when you go somewhere in France. So, um, uh, des vacances. So I'm not working on Monday, uh, jour de congé. I work every day. Uh, et font preuve, so prove is faire preuve de often, rather than just, you know, like prouver or anything like that, which is useful, but, you know, we've got this as well. So basically, we, you know, and therefore provide proof of, or, or prove, um, an exemplary solidarity, au sein de, sein is breast, but at the heart of uh, these teams, okay? Um, lovely. Uh, je suis fier, I am proud. Yeah. Je suis fier aujourd'hui uh, de faire partie de cette profession. I am proud today to be part of this profession. Oh, sorry, we haven't done the reading. Je suis fier aujourd'hui de faire partie de cette profession. Fier de l'abnégation qu'elle représente et de la vision fraternelle de la société qu'elle véhicule. Fier de mes collègues qui se battent au quotidien pour offrir le meilleur dans les conditions les pires. Notice it is représente, not like in English, which is represent. Yeah? So, je suis fier aujourd'hui de faire partie de cette profession. Fier de l'abnégation qu'elle représente et de la vision fraternelle de la société qu'elle véhicule. Fier de mes collègues qui se battent au quotidien pour offrir le meilleur dans les conditions les pires. So, I'm proud today to be part of. So, to be part of in French is to make up part of. I'm part of a team. Whatever. Je fais partie d'une équipe. Non, je suis partie. Okay? 
of this profession. Proud of the... Now, abnegation is when you kind of like, you, you give stuff up. You have the sacrifice, the... Um, um, like if you... Like if you became a nun and you gave up certain things. Um, or people talk about abnegation with Lent and all that kind of business. So abnegate is just a formal word for to give something up for the, for the greater good. So uh, fier de l'abnegation, uh, so proud of the, you know, the sacrifice that it represents uh, as opposed to sacrifier, sacrifice, which you can use in this way as well. It doesn't literally mean you're going to kill anybody on an altar. Bores the pity, cher au col. Then, yeah, um, I do not condone or endorse the murder of shitty pop stars. Legal disclaimer. What you do in your free time is up to you. Uh, fier de l'abnégation qu'elle représente, so proud of the denial, sorry, proud of the uh, Freudian slip, lapsis revelata, so proud of the sacrifice that it represents, and of the fraternal vision. A lot of people are offended by the word fraternal, they're like, well, it's innately masculine, you know, like your fellow man, rather than your fellow, your, your br mankind, it's brothers and all this business, but in other words, fraternal basically means, you know, humanitarian, if you wanted to use a, a gender neutral word, uh, that it's vehicling, okay, that it's sort of driving. Fier de mes collègues, proud of my colleagues who se bat. It's a great word, battre, reflexive. Qui se bat, who, who, who fight. We could have had the word lutte, which is like combat, every day um, to offer them, pour offrir le meilleur, to offer the best in the, condi the worst conditions, dans les conditions les pires. Okay, so you will notice with meilleur and pire that they both mean best, better and best if you're talking about a noun, yeah? So in other words, the best, the best, better conditions, meilleur condition, you know, uh, le meilleur is the best, les pires is the worst. So the inclusion of the the is what takes it from uh, worst to worst or be better to best. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, uh, better to best. Um, like I said, it, mieux is when you're talking about a verb. Or le mieux is when you're talking about a verb. So better, he speaks better, il parle mieux. He speaks the best, il parle le mieux. So don't be confusing meilleur et mieux. If you need the video meilleur et mieux, if you just go to my homepage and you type any one of those words, meilleur, mieux, whatever, 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 um, and it will come up. Good, so a really nice little exercise would be for you to go through and every time you spot a word that you don't know is to basically then create another sentence with it. So if I, if I was new to angoisse, so anguish, okay? So... Her personal language, she's very anguished. Elle est très angoissée. Um, J'ai beaucoup d'angoisse. Um, whatever. Congé day off. I haven't got any day off this week. J'ai pas de congé cette semaine. Um, uh, whatever. Um, dévouement. Okay. She demonstrate. She she demonstrated devotion to her studies. Whatever. Elle a démontré le dévouement à ses études. Elle est très dévouée. Just go through and find out. Find, give yourself another sentence with each of those things. All right. I hope you're um, all really well. Uh, I will do some slightly easy videos and some grammar and vocab videos next week. But this one was really due as well. Um, good, 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 good. So like I said, read it through. Read everything out loud. Out loud. Out loud. Out loud. Get it in the mouth, right? Don't just read me with your eyes. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Um, I am on Coffee, where you can purchase me a coffee. The coffee account link will be underneath. Um, by all means, contact me if you have any questions. Um, um, if you enjoyed the content, do please let, let us know underneath, and I will speak to you soon. Keep washing your hands, uh, stay safe, and try and be a bit nice to people. All right, take care. Unless they're twats, in which case they've got it coming. Take care, loads of love.